Word. Yo, YouTube. It's been a minute. I know the lighting is type trash. Was good. Was popping. Was shaking. What it do? What it do? I got my my man right here to the right. Well, to the left of y'all, but it's one of my childhood friends. I grew up with him. Introduce yourself, my guy. It's man. your boy. They call me Justin J Bone. Know what I mean? A lot of aliases, a lot of different names. I'm in town too, man. I'm back home in Jersey, so you know I had to catch up with the gang with my guy. And uh, yeah, we just gonna talk shit, man. Just kick it. He didn't want to get no Wendy's. He didn't want to get none. <laughs> he got food at the crib. I respect it. <laughs> it's my last day tonight before I head back, mm -hmm. back to Houston and shit. But but before we was recording, we was talking about LLCs and shit. Like you know, I was telling him about you know you got a lot of people that got LLCs, right? Damn, they just turned the damn light on. Yeah, that's crazy. I might have to move. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Nah, that's, we should be good. If they not just move, but we was talking about like LLCs. Basically, like a lot of people got LLCs and they made no bread within the LLC. So I was just telling him like, yo, once you start slowly getting your money up within your business, your small business and whatnot, your infrastructure, then you should tap into getting the LLC because it's it's money too. Like it's yeah. not it's not what you think it is. It's not cheap. Right. But it depends because it all depends on what you do for your information and research. No, that's a fact. See, New Jersey, that's what I'm saying. I know how much it costs in Jersey. Your annual fees is $75. Now, that might be a $75 a year investment into yourself mm -hmm. or a $75, you know, bill down the toilet. You know what I'm saying? Just depends on what you're doing with your business and what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? So all my entrepreneurs, before you tap in, do your homework, man. Right. Because right. you got a lot of motherfuckers that's out here just fake flexing and still broke. And like my brother's saying, too, you don't got any income coming in, there's no work. reason to jump yeah. out to, you not, know. At least not right now. Right? Yeah. Nah, you right about that. Focus on your business structure. What's your plans within the business? Mm -hmm. Those the in and out of your business, your competitors. Uh, what market, like all mm -hmm. that. Well, to take this conversation a step further too, so me and my business partner, we talking about how we can find ways to get credit lines and build business credit, mm -hmm. right? And we've been going in a lot of hoops, you know, up and downs, just trying to figure that out. So one of the things, we actually got a bank account for an LLC that we already have filed. Mm -hmm. Some of the research we did basically told us that if we take our LLCs and start to deal with the banks that will be able to apply for a line of credit. And even if it's not that much, they might give us a little something like your regular bank credit right. card. And then you could build your credit that way. But then they told us no for that particular bank and that particular credit account. Now, I don't know if you tried to get one of these premium accounts and they declined them or whatever, but mm -hmm. long story short, they told us basically you have no history. So we're not going to give you that line. So now that's one important reason sometimes to get the LLC going yeah, just so that, they, that you have some type of history. No, that's I've been fact. spending money on this, so I get money from this and, you know, so on it's and like so forth. a credit forth. card, basically. Exactly. So, so that you can have a credit card, Facts. actual history, so that they can be like, okay, we see that you're doing some, you know, your transactions is moving, say, maybe $1,000 a month back and forth. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll, we'll approve you for a $15,000 credit limit, you know what I'm saying, and stuff Facts. like that. So. I haven't put it in the work yet, but it's in the process right now. Be on the lookout, man. Word. All right, man. My fault, man. I got to get fucking data on my phone. So I was saying let's get into the <laughs> bullshit. So relationships, man. So how you think, how, how you see how the relationship is going, like, as far as, like, ladies? I right, know. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it like this. How you feel about, like, these new women now I feel like they're the new man? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love all my women, by the way. Like, like, like women feel entitled now more than anything now. Like women, you know, they they got more financial freedom now. They are able to make more money. Um, they doing their thing out here. You feel me? So, like, how you feel about a a, a, a shorty that is um? Shit, how can I say this in simple? Independent. Terms? Yeah. How you feel about that? Like, like my boy Neil saying, um. <clears throat> I'm all for it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, you know, I was raised by a lot of strong, independent women. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely a balance, for sure. Okay. Women of today, like we were saying before, they, the, they are the men. 
mm-hmm. and then the men of today are the women. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about the role, the role, gender roles have been reversed? I, that's what I was actually. So, I read this book. <laughs> right now, um, who you feel should pay you first on the date? I'm not gonna lie. I, you know, like I said, I was raised by strong, independent women, which made me. A strong independent man mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and i had to kind of take that on for a lot of them so um i would say i would say i don't think it has to be somebody like it don't have to be a pick but as a man i think a man should kind of take that initiative first you know what i'm saying like now how you feel about dudes paying the play like niggas pay they know this chick ain't feeling this chick ain't feeling you mm-hmm. but you playing your pay you paying your way to play the to have her around your presence. I, I ain't doing that. That's being glorified now. How you mm. feel about that? It's just a weird, you know, I'm too far outside the loop. Mm. I ain't gonna lie, I'm way too far outside the loop. So I don't, I don't, I'm not as informed as I should be, mm-hmm. I guess, but I ain't gonna lie. It's not a part of your everyday realm because you don't feel yeah. yourself with that. Or even like pay attention. Cause like my thing is that if you are paying a girl to be in your presence, Yo, dudes like, is doing that, bro. Yeah, like, that's kind of news to me right now. Not news, because you know what's happening, but Facts. it's like, damn. Like, yeah, man, <laughs> what happened to the good old days, you know what I'm saying? But don't you think, that's what I was asking before with social media, right? Mm-hmm. It kind of gasses the average shorty now. Like, you got a drum, and there's no disrespect. You might have a female that might be like a... She might be a four at best. Mm-hmm. But every picture you post is your best day, so you always a ten. That, again, shorty is a four. Mm-hmm. Dudes on the gram, on any social platforms, gassing her up. So mm-hmm. she's feeling herself now. Mm-hmm. So that four boosted up to like a solid seven, eight. Mm-hmm. So with, with that being said, she feels that her value is based off her looks, which it is to a degree. But I mean, some of that in there, yeah. But it's just the fact that you know you're not what you are. You feel me? Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I just think that you know a lot of it plays a fact on us. We kind of mm-hmm. set the tone, right? Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. if we're constantly like feeding that fish and that to them, it's just only gonna get worse. If that yeah. makes any sense. No, you know it does. Saying? It makes perfect sense. I Which think, is why the, the dating shit and all that is all fucked up. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. You make perfect sense. I think. Um, you got these corny niggas gassing these shorties up, and that's why they acting the way they act. Us men gotta be accountable, yo. Well, it's false confidence in the arrogance. You know what I'm saying? Like wow. it's like you start to think highly of yourself because you're getting this like superficial boost. Mm-hmm. Um. This shit is cracked, by the way. Man. Yeah, I was about to say you fucking that. Uh. Strawberry, man. <laughs> yeah, strawberry frosting. This shit is cracked. Um. 